All right, what's up everyone? Sam from 64 Wheels here, back with more die casts. I've got a bunch of uh, mail calls and store finds i got to go over, so boom, hopping right into it. First one, the Redline Selection uh, Dirty Blonde Gasser. This is the RLC Selection car um, for last year. These are not limited. They don't have um, stickers on them for as like a limited number. These are available to RLC members. Basically, as many as you want to order, you can order. Um, they're built to order. You don't get them until the next year. So this year, um, the voting just got finished for this car for next year, and it's going to be the 41 Willys Gasser, and like um, it's like a chrome blue color. It looks awesome. So I'm going to be ordering some of those. Um, but I'm going to do an unboxing on this too because the headers, like this, this thing is awesome. So um, that's the first one. That's a good first one too. Um, the next one, this isn't really, uh, I don't, I know a lot of people don't care about five packs, but here's a five pack. Um, this is a new Batman five pack. It, I found this at Walmart. There are a ton of these. Uh, I bought it basically because of the Batmobile and then the variation of that, but it does have the Dodge Charger, um, Gotham City police car in like a dark gray with different wheels. That car came out in the Walmart, um, exclusive like Batman packs. The Riddler hot rod is cool too. And then there's like a Mr. Freeze, um, but these are cool, The but it's a recolor of the Gotham City PD is what I was getting at. Um, that We've seen that a couple times, I think, in various Walmart sets. So I have some main lines. These, aren't, uh, these are just ones I picked up that I like. Uh, two of the 69 Dodge Charger Hot Wheels. I really like the Hot Wheels theme, so I usually pick up a couple of those anytime I find them, um, especially 69 Dodge Charger, a favorite, personal favorite car of mine. Um, the other two, the Road Bandit recolor in red, and then another ZR1 because that is just a dope casting. Um, I found the Formula E, and then the Formula E recolor. So I was pumped to find it. It looks great in purple with the white wheels. So there's the first version of it. I really like this casting. I like Indy cars and Formula cars and open wheel stuff. So I have a bunch of these, so I was pumped to see it in purple because I love purple cars. Look at that. That looks awesome. So these are hidden stores now. What would be cool is to do like a basic swap and then drill it out and switch to chassis and see which one looks better. Because the white might actually look good in the, on the black. So that's cool. Um, this is a new one too. And I don't know if you noticed, but the purple one and this, um, the Datsun, the JDM Legends truck, right? Yeah. This is an international card and I've been finding these um, I found both of these at O'Reilly's, the same where I found the Kia Stinger in a couple videos ago. They're on international cards, so I don't know why our local O'Reilly's has an international box, but I'm, I'm glad I'm finding stuff there. So this is a cool truck. I don't have one of these open yet, so I might have to find another one. And this is one of my new favorite ones that I found, the Volkswagen Baja Bug, the tuned version. This thing is so killer. I'm going to do a post on this because it's just... It's awesome. The, like it photographs and video so well. Like look how cool the shape is. I'm pumped to open that one and do some photos of it. So watch for that one coming soon. And then the next one is the five car camo set from Walmart. Um, uh, Walmart has done a bunch of these camo sets and I usually don't buy them all because a lot of times I don't like all the cars in them, but this one actually has a pretty solid lineup and there's only five cars and the Walmart had them all, which is nice. So I just went ahead and bought all five. Um, the first one is the Skyline 2000 GT. This thing is cool and blue. Like I love blue camo and the card is pretty cool too, actually with the little like flame and Hot Wheels like graffiti art. So first one, second one is the 16 Honda Civic Type R. And I like that style camo too. Like the hunting comb, the grid, that looks pretty cool. Number three, the, I'm gonna read it so I don't get it wrong. 10 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. I like this camo too. These are all winners to me. Another cool card. It's almost like that destroyer gray color that's super hot right now. Um, the Camaro SS, classic green camo. Um, I really like this one too. This is a this is a winning set for me. I like all the cars in it. And then the final one is the 68 El Camino. And I like the card art they did, like the graffiti on it. So it's pink. I like it. We don't see too many pink Hot Wheels. So cool. So those those were still, I believe those are still a dollar, like a dollar twenty four. <coughs> Excuse me, because some of the the other sets, like the new Stars and Stripes set, are two fourteen or two twenty four each. 
which are a little on the expensive side, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I just found these at Walmart, the new Stars and Stripes set. The bad thing was is they had all of them but one. So they had nine of the 10, but I don't know if I will ever be able to hunt down the one they didn't have. So I only bought the Mopars or the ones I thought had the best paint jobs. Um, Cause some of the other ones were, were okay, but. So I'm gonna zoom in, see if I can bump it up just so you can see it. So the whole 10 car set is the Javelin AMX, the 71 Cuda, the 64 GTO, the 68 Barracuda, and the Chevy Blazer 4x4. Um, the next five are the 68 El Camino, the 70 Camaro RS, Plymouth Duster, Thruster, 68 Barracuda, and the 68 Cougar. 68 Cougar has a really nice paint job. I'm just not a big Ford guy. So um, this this is 8 to 10. The only one they didn't have was the GTO, which I thought was weird because some of these have amazing paint jobs. Like, I'm a big fan of these patriotic paint schemes. Like, this looks like a stunt car from the 80s. Some evil can evil stuff. So it's Plymouth Duster. Next one. This is probably one of the best paint jobs on, like, any car. Look how awesome that is. That is killer. 68 Hemi Barracuda, like the wheels, they got the color right. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. I would buy a premium version of that without a doubt. Without a doubt. Uh, next one is the Javelin AMX is number one. This has a killer paint job too. It's just so clean and so well done. Like this is something you would see like in 1976, like pacing, you know, the Daytona 500 or something. That just looks um, they killed the paint job on that one. The tampos are amazing. I will say on all of these, the tampos are very sharp, and there wasn't like there's not a lot of errors in them, so they seem to be a little bit more um, well made. And I assume that the price is because of the card and then the extensive tampoing they have on each of them. But this is the '71 Hemi Cuda, cool car, red shaker, red interior, white uh, rimmed five spoke wheels. This, I just love this set. This is a good set. They, I think they always come out around the 4th of July. Um, and I like it. I bought quite a few of them in the past and I'll, I'll keep buying them if they keep making them. I just wish they were a touch cheaper. So, switching back to the Matchbox side, I found the new Jurassic Park or Jurassic World 5-pack. And this is, um, this is new. We've seen the submarine. We've seen all these before, but they come in a little bit different decos now. So I think that's a new paint job on that. I know it's the first time we've seen um, Jeep, is it 23 or 29? 23? Hang on. Yeah, 23 and Dirty. That's from the newer movie. Um, this is a Dirty... I can't remember what that casting is called, actually, right now. Uh, I don't even have it on here. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's like a huge 6x6. Six six. Um, and then that's the little... I think that's the Mercedes. Imanog, Imanog, however you say it. Total Tracker, tracker Team is um, the name of it, if you want to... Um, eBay it so cool cool set I've been trying to get all those I've, I have very few that I'm missing just some of the um, what are they called what are the damaged ones I can't I can't even think of it right now um, but those I'm missing those um, so the, I'm just move on to the regular battle damage that's what they're called um, move on to just some regular matchbox so I found some power grabs which are the boxes uh, I really like this garbage truck it looks real to me like the colors and the deco on it are real. So I bought I bought a bunch of those to like do a little city setup with them. So I have five garbage trucks and boxes. Um, the Nissan 95 Nissan hard body in a box and the power grab, which is cool. I like the box variation because it allows the art like it's more expansive. Like you know the traditional card probably cuts off like right there, but I like it in the box. Power grabs and then the. Boop, 59 Dodge Cornette police car. I really like this one. I love all police cars, so especially Mopar stuff. Boom, and then I'm gonna go into the carded stuff, which isn't much different from the box, but the Pol Polaris Razor, we just shot one of these for our um, Shutterfield business for uh, official trucks. They were giving one away. It was pretty cool to, to see this get tore up. Um, the 57 GMC Stepside. This is a, I think this is actually an older release. Cause I found it at Meyer. Um, and Meyer doesn't restock stuff around here, um, but that was one of them on the shelf. This is the Man T. I can't even say it. Man TGS 18.440. It's a it's a dump truck. It's a cool dump truck though. 
So I like buying a lot of these like kind of utility trucks to make setups. See like look, here's the card, the same uh, cornet. Like look how much more you get to see the art. I appreciate it more. The actual art looks a little different. It's cool. I like having both. Let me know in the comments if you buy the power grabs. Uh, Audi R8, pretty sweet, and gray with black wheels. A recolor on the 85 Porsche 911 Rally. The first one was pretty cool. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of green. I like the first one better, but this, like you can buy them and switch chassis and bodies and stuff, so Porsches are always a pretty good buy, too. Um, the next one is the Drill Digger. This one is, I always think this is cool because it looks, hey, it looks just, I mean, it, it looks kind of real, but fantasy at the same time. And you see these on construction sites, like drilling big holes in the city. So I like that one. The new 76 Honda CVCC Civic. So I thought that was kind of cool. I've got a couple of these. These are really clean castings, like for a city diorama, very clean. Next one is the 63 Austin Healey Roadster. It, I think this is a perfect color combination. It's like a eggshell white cream color with a red interior. It just looks, I mean, that just looks awesome. Great color combination, Matchbox. Killed it. 18 Ford Mustang convertible. This looks great in blue too. I love that like smoke, smoked gray chrome wheels. Those are killer. So this is a nice casting too. Which is weird because I hardly found any of these, but a lot of the um, like Matchbox series or the Mustang series at Walmart, um, they have a ton of the convertibles just sitting there. So here's the 95 Nissan Hard Bonnie out of card, so you can get a closer look at it. Um, I really like the wheels; they almost look like General Lee Vector wheels. Um, those 1990 like tear graphics on the side, tow hitch. It's cool. I'm gonna buy a few of those if I can find a couple more. And then the awesome. 2015 Mercedes G 550 G wagon in that like matte purple color. That color is so sick. I've never seen one in real life that color. I've seen the lime green, like highlighter yellow G wagons, but I've never seen a purple one. Pretty rad. So let me, um, I'm gonna pause real quick and get this stuff that's not Matchbox or Hot Wheels, and I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. Um, the next one aren't really die casts, but I like them. I've wanted to buy some of these for a while. These are the powertrains. Um, they're like AA, AAA powered battery, or, uh, battery powered trains. Um, I've seen them everywhere, but I've never bought them, but I do like making dioramas. So when I saw these at Target, they were, I don't know if you can see the price. They were $9.99 and they're actually a dollar less than this. So they were 50% off. And this one is a really cool um space with like it has a rocket at the top rocket fuel like that one's pretty killer and then i bought this one um the construction one because it was like the most active of the other ones like it had the most like drop and go parts and it has the little crane so for five dollars that means you only pay a dollar each for each of those little trains that's a good deal um because if that was an actual like ho scale um like line l train or something those would be pretty expensive so um the next up is a green light gone in 60 seconds um crown victoria from uh this california highway patrol Zoop. um i don't like i like the original gone in 60 seconds better than the remake but i collect the chp cars so i was excited to find this i found this at meyer um they're pretty good for green light and now that target uh has green lights also i've seen a few of these at target as well so I really like CHP stuff. So that was the next one. Um, this one I found at Kroger. This is an M2 1957 Chrysler 300C. This is a killer looking car. It's got that like, it's the old school Mopar, um, like the advertisement. It's from that. I don't know what they call it, but it's an advertisement line. Um, let me see if I can do it to zoom in. So it says, oh, come on. Imperial Chrysler DeSoto Dodge Plymouth. So it has all the Chrysler brands from the 50s. It's got the 375 horsepower. I will probably do um, an unboxing and then like a Langley Daily on this because this is cool. I love how clean the casting is. Straight up look like you're about to run moonshine for Mopar back in the 50s. So very, very cool. And then this one I'm very pumped about. This is a Jada a Hero Patrol car. It's only at Target and it is a lights and sirens car. 
I had these, they, I had the majorette versions when I was little, so I was really pumped to see that these come back because I loved, loved playing with these. See the siren? Um, I have never seen these before. This was the only one at Target, but you can see from the back, um, they have two Silverados, two Mustangs, and then two, the VW Crafter, I think is what it's called. Um, I would love to find that, like, both these that kind of look like CHP cars. I would love to find them all, actually. Um, so here's the back. There's the UPC barcode for people that, uh, like doing that, like looking them up. So, I love this thing, though. I hope this is, like, a trend. I want to see more of these. I absolutely love the lights and siren stuff. So, if you like this stuff, too, let me know in the comments, because I really want to hunt more of these down. Hero Patrol. So, if you're searching on eBay, Hero Patrol, Lights and Sound, Jada, Target Exclusive. So, and then the next ones uh, are the final ones for this video. I found these at Walmart. They had a huge Monster Jam dump bin. And I know monster trucks aren't everyone's thing, but I love them. So, this is the new, um, they call it like a bone base. Let me see if it actually has like a um, proper term. Oh, no, it does not. So, if you look, the actual base of the truck is like bone. Which is even better because it's Grave Digger. I'm going to try I'm gonna do an unboxing of this one and then the next one as well. So that's pretty cool. It's like a cream color base that looks like a skeleton. So that's that's pretty awesome. And then the, the wheels are kind of that color too. They're like an off, that off-white grayish color. So I'm excited to open that one up. And then this is probably the best purchase of the day, the best find. This is the like the chase truck. Um, it's the Gravedigger ride truck. And this is super cool. Like it looks like a limo. Um, you can see all the seats back there. Very cool truck. Um, extended Gravedigger art because of the body. Um, different chassis. I mean, it's just killer. I cannot wait to open this. So, I mean, I just think these are awesome. Spin Master has done an excellent job with the Monster Jam license. They are killing it so far. Um, all the trucks look really realistic. They have the training trucks. They have these. They have Fire and Ice. They just have a ton of different chases. Um... So this, this is probably my favorite takeaway of the day, finding one of these. So I found this at Walmart in a dump bin outside the, um, like the toy aisle. They had a huge Monster Jam dump bin, and they just had a ton of stuff in there. I actually found five of these, I believe, and I bought three of them. Um, I left some for the next guy, so I just thought that was awesome. So I'm excited to do a unboxing and, and feature on that one, too. So... Oh, I think that was it for this one. Um, to, here, I'll put my two favorites probably from there. So if you like that, I can do more like mail finds and unboxings and all that good stuff. So if you want, follow me on Instagram at 64wheels and like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.